Do you hear that? Neither do I, because today we're checking out the Arctic Alpine Passive CPU Cooler, which is a pretty unique way to cool your processor and a pretty good idea if you want a super silent build. Let's get into it. Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today we're gonna to be checking out an Arctic passive cooler and comparing it to other products like a stock cooler and even a water cooler to see if this is worth it for a silent build. And if you're new here and you wanna see more PC hardware or PC building videos, then hit that subscribe button down below and also that notification bell. That way you never miss an episode. But yeah, let's check this thing out. The specific passive CPU cooler we're checking out today is the Arctic Alpine Passive AM4 CPU cooler. And if you guys know anything about Arctic, then you know that these guys are no joke when it comes to cooling your PC. A few months ago, I checked out their eSports One cooler and that thing was amazing for the price. So I was all for it when they asked me if I wanted to review this new one as well. This one here is only for the AM4 socket, but they make an exact model for Intel's 11.5X socket. So just make sure that you buy the right one. To start off with who this product is actually for, it's definitely not for someone rocking a super powerful CPU with a high TDP. As it clearly states on their website, it's only rated for keeping 47 watts at bay. The processor that I decided to test this with is a Ryzen 5 2600X, which has a TDP of 95 watts, obviously not what this cooler is rated for, so today we're really going to push this cooler to the limit. This CPU cooler is also designed for somebody that wants a dead quiet build, which is something that I personally really never got into. I know a ton of you spend a lot of money on those super quiet cases and case fans and whatnot, but I just don't really care about the noise that much. Moving on, this passive CPU cooler comes pre-applied with Arctic's own MX2 thermal paste and the installation was an absolute breeze. It is a little different than normal because you're screwing the screws in from the back of the motherboard instead of from the top of the CPU cooler like you usually do, but overall you shouldn't have many issues getting this thing on there. I would also just make sure that you don't forget to install the sticker washers that it comes with as this is a great way to protect your motherboard from the screws on the back. The cooler also has a total height of 70 millimeters and a width and length of 99 millimeters. Shouldn't have any problems installing this on any motherboard. Once this thing installed, the only thing left to do is to see how cool it can keep the Ryzen 5 2600X and we're going to be comparing it to the stock cooler that it came with as well as this Castle 240 AIO water cooler that I reviewed up here. The first test up was a simple idling test and here you can see that the Alpine passive cooler is running a little hotter than the others as you should expect but this number was actually a little bit lower than I thought it would be to be honest. Next up was a round of Fortnite. For all three tests this was about an average of five minutes of playing Fortnite because I I can't last in a solo match any longer than that usually. And here you can see that it's still only seven degrees hotter than the stock AMD cooler, but it's obviously gonna be way hotter than a $100 AIO water cooler. And finally, the last test I did was a 10 minute stress test with Ida64. And that's about where the good news stops as I couldn't complete the test for the passive cooler because after about five seconds, the CPU shot up to 107 degrees and I didn't wanna lose my processor for this testing. That result was clearly because of the TDP rating that Arctic has on their website, once you draw that kind of power, and during a stress test, you're gonna draw every last ounce of power that you got, the passive cooler just can't handle that type of load. Like I said in the beginning of this video, you probably don't wanna use this passive air cooler for a powerful CPU like the 2600X, and you should stick to something like a Ryzen 3. But if you're going for a super silent build, then this may actually be a good idea for you. I was very surprised with the numbers during a real life benchmark of playing a game of Fortnite, so I'm happy to say that Arctic has created yet another solid solid cooling solution. Well, that wraps up my review of the Arctic Alpine Passive CPU Cooler. Now feel free to head on over to one of these two videos if you haven't seen them yet, and definitely hit that subscribe button because next week we have our PC Gaming Playback series, and this was by far my favorite month of PC gaming in 2018 so far. You don't wanna miss that video.